Good morning. This morning we're going to show you how to use this wheel balancer, ProTech 514. Uh, we're going to show you the different the modes of balancing and uh, calibration. First, we're going to show you what the machine comes with. So you get a wheel weight hammer, the different sizes of cones, and a truck adapter. Also comes with a quick nut, and a quick nut comes with a plunge or a cup calibration weight and a spring and this is the manual that's all it comes with the machine we're going to go ahead and power up the machine the unit so as you can see on the screen f1 is for setup f2 mode f3 data input so we're gonna go with F1, system settings, F1 again. When you receive the machine, you're gonna see everything here. This one is gonna be in grams, not ounces. So this will be like this. You can always change it. And to save it, you gotta hit F9 to save. And then you got system testing. Has nothing to do with, uh, this is for us for when we're doing service on a machine. Uh, weight calibration or ruler calibration. So we're gonna go ahead F4 with ruler calibration. And here F1. A is distance ruler, F2, B is the width ruler, and F3, D, the diameter uh, ruler. So we're gonna go with F1. We're gonna go put the ruler on zero. Hit F8 to confirm. F8 to confirm, F9 to exit. And we're gonna go to 20. Again, F8 to confirm. We're done here. F2. The width ruler at rest position, as you can see on the screen. We're gonna confirm F8. Then we're gonna take it, put it on the face of the flange. And then hit F8 to confirm. And then we're going to go with F3 diameter. So you're going to take the distance ruler and rest it on the shaft. Then have, hit F8 to confirm. You get a 14 inch or a 15 inch rim. And you can adjust it. Here we have a 15 inch rim here so we're going to adjust it to 15 and we'll take the distance ruler rest it on the edge of the rim and have it hit f8 to confirm now all the calibration is done we'll hit f9 to exit and go to weight calibration hit f3 we're going to remove all the weights from the wheel once you've got your uh, 14 or 15 inch rim on installed you're going to hit f3 to input the data tell the machine the distance the width and the diameter i'm going to pull the ruler so that gives us the uh, the distance and the diameter and then we'll take this the width ruler and then we press ok and spin the tire. Now we're gonna take the 3.5 ounces or 100 gram weight. So you gotta make sure you bring this red arrow in the center. Then install the weight at 12 o'clock. Close the hood 
and then use that same 3.5 ounce weight and put it on the inside. Again, center the red arrow. And that's done for calibration. Now we're gonna check the balance on this tire. Get the measurements. So you can you can adjust these settings manually as well. If four is uh, the distance, if five is the width, and F6 is the diameter. So you can manually adjust all three. Hit F9 after you did your data input. So we're gonna put the weight on the inside first. And as you can see the laser here. the weights on that confirms that our calibration is okay we did the dynamic now we're going to show you the different aluminum modes f3 so f1 is stick and stick as you can see F2, F2 as well as stick and stick, aluminum two. Aluminum three is clip on the inside and stick on the outside. Aluminum four is clip on the inside, stick on the outside. Aluminum five <coughs> is stick on the inside, clip on the outside. The difference here is some of the rims are deep dish, so you'll have the, the face of the rim here and you'll have a lip on the outside so that's why the weight is here and here so it'll go on the outside of it we're going to do aluminum one choose f1 and we'll tell the machine f3 for data input F9 and run. So you can see the laser. Put the way where the laser is. Then go to the opposite side. And spin the wheel. That's it. Now we're gonna show you the aluminum S mode. So you go again to F2 to select the mode. Then you go to F4 for the mobile plane balancing, then you're going to choose F1. So for this mode, you're going to use the ruler and measure where you want the weight to stick the weight. And then you hit F3. When you hear the beep, you're going to go select the second location. Once you stop, it's going to record the measurement and you're all done. So as you can see here is the distance for the for the first weight, the inside of the rim, and that's the diameter on the inside of the rim. This one is the distance from the when the outside of the rim and this is the diameter as you get towards the spokes. 
Then you hit F9. Close the hood. Now it's asking you for the weight. So you're going to bring this at 12 o'clock and the arrow at the center, the red arrow. You're gonna apply the brakes, you take your weight, quarter ounce weight, you're gonna put it at the center of your ruler, then you're gonna measure. And when it tells you to go up, that's where you stick the weight. And you're gonna push on the bottom here to stick the weight on. Then you're gonna do the same thing for the other side. So again, this line at 12 o'clock and the dot is gonna be at the center. Then we're gonna grab the 75. And you gotta make sure your weight is centered on the ruler. Center that. And then you're gonna start pulling until it tells you to stop. you've done that you're gonna make sure the weight is on properly and close the hood and there you go that's how you do the aluminum by S mode